Anybody who's ever watched a television show knows that I am an air rifle nut. I love shooting air rifles. And uh, this is a brand new one. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do some testing with it. But I wanna tell you about this. Before you shoot any rifle, a package gun, this gun comes right out of the package like this. What I've done is I've taken a set of Allen wrenches. I encourage you to do the same thing and make sure that every one of the uh, screws having to do with your scope, your bases and your rings are nice and secure. Make sure and tighten them down really good. I've checked, uh, this one's nice and secure. I've never had a package gun come from Gamo that wasn't secure, but I've heard people with other brand rifles that they're just not secure. So when it comes time to shooting, they spend a lot of time shooting and they can't figure out what's wrong with it. Many times there's nothing wrong with the gun. There's something wrong because you haven't secured your scope properly. So, But this is the Whisper G2. This is the second generation by Gamo. This particular rifle is a 22 caliber. The Whisper G2 comes in two different calibers, a 177 or a 22. The reason why I like personally shooting a 22 is I'm a, I'm a big time target shooter, but I'm a hunter. I like hunting with air rifles. And the 22 I find has a little bit more ump than the 177. It doesn't shoot as fast as the 177, but I love the little bit more ump because I can kill a rabbit or I can kill a squirrel or pigeons, whatever I'm shooting a little bit more efficiently with the 22. This particular model feels a little bit different than the first generation. And let me tell you about the features on it. It has the whisper technology, which reduces the noise that the gun's gonna give out. Okay, of course it's a break barrel action. I'll show you that here in a little bit. But this particular gun comes standard with a four power gamo air rifle scope. And it really helps for accuracy. I mean, you can, you can see very clearly uh, with this. Uh, you'll notice that on the, on the butt end of it has a very soft recoil pad. Uh, it has an adjustable cheek pad, so you can actually loosen these little screws down here and raise it up to whatever's comfortable for you. You'll notice it has a smooth action trigger. This trigger on this rifle is so smooth that I would challenge many centerfire rifle people to have a trigger that is this smooth. Uh, you know, all these features are great and all, but what really matters is how it shoots. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna head to the bench, we're gonna shoot this rifle, and what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to find out what load, what pellet that this rifle likes, because I'm a believer that every rifle, whether it's an air rifle or a centerfire rifle, there's one particular load that it likes better than anything else. And this rifle, if I had two different rifles that were exactly the same thing, maybe this rifle likes load B, and the other rifle, the exact same thing, likes load A. So everyone has a preference, what it likes to shoot, and what I'm trying to do right now is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you how I find out what my rifle likes. Let's see how this Whisper G2 shoots. Conditions are perfect, and this is the kind of conditions that I really like to do this in. I've got a bench, a nice, firm, stable bench with a good bag for a rest. There's no wind. I've got my target set up. I'm not rushed at all. Total focus and concentration. Oh, oh. see that load right there? I like. All right, I'm just shooting a variety of these pellets just to kind of plink right now. Ooh, that's almost the same hole as that last shot. One thing I like to do, if I've got a, a new shooter, uh, a youngster maybe, or a, even an oldster, I mean somebody who hadn't shot, but he's a new shooter, and you want to take him deer hunting, say, and you don't really want to teach him the, the basic fundamentals of safety and shooting with a centerfire rifle. I mean, I look at the gamma and I think it's, it, 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 it's perfect because it shoots exceptionally accurate and the trigger is better than most factory triggers on, on deer rifles. And they can learn shooting with literally no recoil whatsoever. They can get the fundamentals down, and once they get the fundamentals down shooting a, an adult precision air rifle, then they can all of a sudden start shooting a centerfire gun, and they already know the fundamentals. That is sweet right there. That really is, that's nice. Well, it feels good, and it certainly looks good, and it's uh, actually shooting all three of these pellets very nicely. So what I'm going to do now is just find out, I don't really care about where they hit. I'm just checking the size of the group right now. And so I'm taking the clean target, and I'm going to shoot the power pellet first. 
<laughs> Pretty good. Take that same power pellet and try again. That's about an inch off. Okay. And I'm going to be shooting three shot groups. In three shots, I want to be able to absolutely determine what each pellet does. Now that's not bad right there. That, really not bad. And that's kind of the staple, that power pellet right there. A lot of people love it. A lot of friends of mine get best performance out of that pellet right there in their gun. So now we're going to change pellets right here. Ooh, look at that. That's sweet. I mean, that right there, I could shoot a rabbit in the eye. And this right here is 25 yards, so that's not bad. That shot right there would have poked his eye out. Okay, let's see here. <laughs> well, all right. That's pretty doggone good right there. Now, this pellet right here, we're gonna give it a try. All right. And like center fire rifles, I mean, a lot of people think I'm crazy in doing this, but the truth of the matter is, is that I'm a believer. I wanna have confidence in the rifle that I shoot, whether it's an air rifle or a center fire rifle. And a lot of confidence comes from practice, 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 and knowing what your rifle is capable of doing and knowing what you're capable of doing. And your ammunition is a huge determining factor as far as I'm concerned. So I do this with every gun I get. See, and the point of impact on that was completely different than the point of impact on that other pellet. Okay, it's becoming clear which pellet is shooting better. They're all shooting very nicely. Hmm, I may have pulled that one right there. But as you can see, from looking at the targets, I mean, I started out, I've got three different kinds of pellets right here. These are all by Gamo and I, wound up just started plinking. And, and as you can see, that first target when I started shooting, it, I mean, I'm, I'm hitting all of that diamond, just but I'm hitting all around. And I was just shooting from one pellet to the next to the next. And most people would be very pleased with, with I mean, it's shooting in that diamond. That diamond's pretty doggone small. But then what I did, I, I changed up and I started shooting three shot groups of each pellet. Okay, and, all I, and I wasn't worrying about exactly zero where it was hitting. I was worrying about the group size. And by doing so, when I take a look at each one of those three targets, now I can tell which one is my good, better, best. Some say it's a little bit picky to try to figure out which pellet your gun likes better than others. But you know what? It gives me a lot of confidence in my shooting and my abilities out there. And so I love to determine what load my rifle likes. And I hope that you found this video helpful to you. Uh, if you have, make sure and share it with a friend. Uh, you know, uh, if you have any questions or comments about the video, put them down here below. I promise you, we'll answer them, get back right to you. Uh, you know, if, if you found this video helpful, I'd like to ask you to subscribe to our channel where we have hundreds of videos that will help you operate your equipment more efficiently and help you get more joy out of the hunt. I'm Keith Warren, and thank you for watching.